Do you know how the world's first IVF baby was born and how it completely changed the history of infertility? Welcome to another episode of Kahani Test Tube Ki. You see, back in the 1960s and 70s, the idea of making a baby in a lab was outrageous. But Robert Edwards, Patrick Steptoe, and Jean Purdy accepted the challenge. Now see, they wanted to help couples struggling with infertility and the world thought they had lost their minds. They worked for years with over a hundred failed attempts and one pregnancy which was an ectopic pregnancy, matlab uterus ke pahar. Fast forward to 1978, when Leslie and John Brown, who were trying to conceive for over nine years, but could not due to blocked fallopian tubes, came to them. They retrieved Leslie's eggs, took John's sperm, fertilized it, in vitro, which means outside the body. And then when the embryo developed, they transferred it back inside Leslie's uterus. Now see, this process happens inside a petri dish, not a test tube. Test tube baby is a misnomer, but it's the most famous term. On July 25th, 1978, Louise Joy Brown was born. The critics came in hot. They even claimed if the baby was human, but Louise, she grew up healthy and proved everyone wrong. And now she even has a family of her own. Today, IVF is very common. There are over 10 million babies born with the help of assisted reproduction techniques worldwide. And this all started with a leap of faith, a lot of science and utmost dedication. As a matter of fact, the story of Louise Brown is now on Netflix called Joy. Ab chao. Deco.